Skate culture in New Jersey is freedom. It is therapeutic. The minute I tie my skates up when I step on the floor, everything else goes away. Everybody becomes a family. You feel safe. Roller skating is about black joy, you know, and that's what you see. It's the combination of, of music and movement and community. Community is key because it was always multi-generational. Skating has been part of the black identity for decades. Depending where you are in the country, you'll see different skating styles influenced by the local music and community. Here at Branchbrook Park Roller Skating Center in Newark, Jersey skate culture shines through during its popular nighttime sessions. One of the biggest things that we do out here in Jersey, trains, trains and trios. Trains and trios. Trains and trios. I don't see that anywhere else. As soon as the DJ says, hey, I need everybody to clear the floor, at times if you're a new skater and you've never been here before, they do ask questions. Is it closing? And we're like, no, it's trains and trios time. Trains is where you'll have over three to four people and we're connected together where one hand holds the next person hand and we all skate together as, as a whole, as in one. Today's skating styles were born out of a complicated and painful past. Prior to the civil rights movement, black people weren't allowed to skate at most rinks. If they were, they were often limited to just one night a week. People were limited because either they couldn't afford it or because of racism into those, into those systems. But something special happened on those weekly skating nights. It's where the Black community came together to create their own unique style inspired by their music. The you know, late 40s and 50s, so much is happening. You know, we, we, you move from the, the bands and the organs playing and actually, actually having records. Ultimately, what was happening for us at the rink was you had different areas, you know, decide on certain songs, certain tempos. And around that, styles were created. These rinks that were built for white audiences and formal skaters became black centers of excellence and it took off from there. Local trailblazers contributed to the rich community that still rolls through the state's rinks today. Some created skate clubs or community groups that preserve and uphold roller skating's roots in black culture. Jersey is the mecca when it comes to the skate culture because a lot came out of Jersey, a lot from techniques just to the culture, to the skate teams. A lot of skate teams originated from the New Jersey area, which spread it out and brought it throughout the skate culture, which is now international. Jersey has become a house sound and R&B sound. It's unique to us, you know, and we are renowned for it. Ironically, even today, historically, a lot of the classics are still played that are over 40 years old. Step into the rink at Branchbrook today and you're welcomed into a space that blends the past and present. Skaters learn classic moves from OG skaters, then put a new twist on them. The culture of black skating in New Jersey is thriving. Our skating culture has evolved into a very new energetic type of skating but it's still reminiscent of the old, too. So it's a foundational build, you know, like it's a legacy that has made Jersey well-educated in skating. It is powerful to capture the local story of skating because there is a uniqueness to it and a richness. And so often, skaters have literally spent decades, you know, just hours and hours, not only becoming really great at skating, but on the fellowship in the community. So when you come here, you, you form a family. Now within the family, it's more each one teach one. And we take this beyond skating. You don't know what no one deals with, so I take it as a third, it's very therapeutic. It's very therapeutic. And what's the best place to have therapy? With music and your own freedom.